chill because I wake up so early and I just work all day like I don't really do anything that requires too much but I need to hurry up pack up my stuff so that I can get out of here I'm on the way we ain't got no time to waste popping my gum on the way am I in the way I don't want pressure and none I want your blessing today oh by the way open the door by the way told you that I'm on the way I'm on the way no connection is fake Pick up the phone for me, baby If I didn't right play on curve Would you still love me? If I minimize my nail wash Would you still love me? Keep it a hundred I'd rather you trust me than to love me Keep it a whole one hundred Don't got you So give me your up on my money There is nobody No one who I run me So give me your run for my money I leave early on these days because I go to school so I leave the office earlier than everybody else and get there earlier than everybody else and I got a new car for those of you guys who didn't know I'm gonna try to show you guys really quickly I got a new car also for those of you guys who didn't know I'm gonna try to show you guys really really quickly this is it I'm gonna try to show you guys really really quickly Hey guys, so like I told you guys, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if I told you guys, I feel like I did, but I'm typically the first person to come into the office on Tuesdays and Thursdays because I do have class, um, which is pretty much like over an hour away, um, not literally, but with the traffic in LA and there's always traffic in LA. Um, it sucks because the time I leave in the morning and the time I come back, um, those are always like high, high, high traffic areas, like high, high, high traffic times. So it just is like you're, you're going to be in the car for a substantial amount of time dealing with traffic. So it's something that I'm really trying to get used to because you guys know I typically Uber a lot, a lot, a lot. But now with my new job and with it being so far Ubering is not a viable option. So, yeah. Anyhow, but everything has been... It's like the vlogs that you guys have been recently seeing. Because I've vlogged so much content, they're kind of like... Not dated, but a little bit dated. Like a lot has changed since then. Um, they were honestly filmed like, like either the beginning 
be early 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 days of june or the um end of may so that's just because i was consistently filming content so then i just kind of had to get it out to you guys and then i i missed um it's my tuesday when um I had like something like a big project or something with school so now i didn't upload or something that week so it's just kind of been like i'm trying to get all that con i tried to get all that content out for you guys so that now we could all be like on the same page and it's like the things that you guys are seeing in my life are the things that are actually happening in my life but yeah i got a new car i really 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 love this car um really 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 good quality um and it's a newer car um, but definitely a good investment considering I plan to have it um, at least up until like I'm a s first or second year attorney. So, um, yeah, what's going on with y'all? Make sure y'all comment below. Sometimes y'all don't be commenting below and I'll be like, did y'all like the video? If you guys like the video, comment below because that's needed. Like, I need to know. I need feedback. I need insight. Like, I need likes. Like, that's, that's how content creators are able to measure, um, their impact and also please do not hesitate to share my videos please share my videos with your friends your family like and it doesn't just have to be someone who's interested in law school because I'm not only interested in law school and I think that's where disconnect happens like a lot of people think that because I'm a law student and a business student that's all I'm interested in and honestly not even almost um, I, I am in school but I am like I'm fun I like to do fun things I like to do other things like I like to to give to do motivational content like I'm so much more than just a, a, a law school vlogger so please don't get it twisted <laughs> don't get it twisted and also just please share my videos with your friends like my videos when they come up comment um, show me love follow me on my social media so we can stay connected and yeah I will come and talk to you guys when I get to work morning how's it going yeah but the first thing I usually do when I get here is go through my email just to make sure that I didn't miss anything um, that was important from yesterday or I don't have an email from my boss because sometimes he'll send an email like late at night and I don't see it until the morning so it's usually the first thing that I do as well as I drink my smoothie and then I get coffee. That's been my routine for the past like month since I've been here. And I've been working here for like a month and this is my first time vlogging, so heesh, I'm sorry. But we're gonna do better now. For those of you guys who don't know, I actually ended up getting a new planner. Turns out I actually hate the Happy Planner. It just wasn't good for me and in terms of organization, it just, because there weren't any lines, it was just like big blobs of information. And for me, it just doesn't work for me. I really did like the like aesthetic of it, but I just hate it. I, it just didn't keep me organized. I found that I was actually a lot less organized with it than I was ever before. So I got a new planner for a temporary planner, but I actually like it. Um, so I might have it for much longer, but I want to show you guys it. So here is just like a, all of my stickers that I've had from like stickers I've purchased or from previous planners that I've had. I um, mean, it's just a blue sky planner. I asked on Instagram for you guys to tell me um, suggestions on planners. So make sure you guys follow me so you guys can take part in the interaction. But very 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 cute yeah I really like it so it's the gist of it if I didn't like playing on curve would you still love me if I minimize my nails would you still love me keep it a hundred I'd rather you trust me than to love 
Better hold on, honey, don't got you So give me a run for my money There is nobody, no one who I run me Okay, so typically when I have lunch, you guys, what I do is I um, go to my car because the buildings are always so cold. I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about like what my job entails because I couldn't talk about it too much in detail at the firm because conf hi, <laughs> confidentiality, but yeah somebody said that they wanted to see like more of a day in my life so i'm gonna start showing you guys social stuff and more than just my professional life because i am so much more than just a student who is in law school and i want you guys i want you guys to consistently support me and be a part of my journey even when i'm not in school anymore because i'm not gonna always be a student but i will always be doing motivational content i will always be doing things about like organization and stuff like that because that's my life but I do want to show you guys like my real life and stuff like that. So not that this isn't my real life, but it's just a portion of my life. Y'all get what I'm saying. Um. Anyway, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about my job. But first, I need to um, dun -dun -dun -dun, turn this on because boy, it is hot in here. And so then, like this. Okay, so my job, I am a law clerk. Um, so I'm actually a law clerk at a firm that handles business law. Um, they handle a bunch of different other, um, a bunch of different other things like real estate law, surety, and a whole bunch of other things. But what I'm specifically working on this summer is a business law project that they're working on with a huge client, like a client that I that is a big part of my life actually so it was a really amazing opportunity that presented itself um one of my advisors at school actually thought it would be really smart for me to get back into law things considering i've been out of law school for a year and doing my mba um so this has been really helpful just for me to train my mind and get back to legal stuff but what i typically do is um unfortunately because of client confidentiality and things like that i'm not able to go into very much detail because it's something that is happening legally and you guys will learn about that when you guys start law school if you're interested in that or just if you have a job it's important to be confident confidential with your clients no matter what field it is it's very very important so yeah but the scope of what I do is pretty much different every day but yet still similar it's a lot of like um, making sure that the company that we're that we're representing is dotting their i's and crossing their t's so just making sure that everything is in order in regards to the different locations that they have they have about 700 different locations across the world so it's been a lot of just like doing research and contacting different areas to make sure everything is good okay that's the, the most i can say i know that sounds so vague but yeah that's what it is so the beauty of this job is for those of you guys who don't know i'm fluent in french so this client has um locations all over the world and one of their places where they have a lot of locations is actually in Canada so I have been able to actually for the first time use my French on a job so to be able to call these different um, agencies and legal places in Quebec Canada has been so 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 cool so I really do love this job and it's really just giving me another like insight and perspective into law because you guys know that I started with an interest in entertainment and not that I don't want to get into the entertainment industry but I want to just see what else is out there while I can because once you're in the profession you're in it and it's very 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 um like kind of frowned upon for you to be in a field and be jumping around year to year to try to figure out well do I like this type of law do I like this type of law like that's what law school is kind of for for like internships and um, clerkships just to get insight into what you like and don't like so yeah I just wanted to share that with you guys I'm going to watch some YouTube videos right now and eat my lunch in my car because I just love sitting in my car I love this car so much you guys um, and I never thought I would like a car because y'all know I hate driving but I just think that this was like the perfect car for me and i'm really happy i chose this one so anyhow i'm going to just relax for a few minutes like 45 minutes or so and then head back to work and i will come talk to you guys a little bit later oh i can show you guys what i'm eating for lunch really quickly okay so today i'm gonna eat a peanut butter and jelly sandwich i made two peanut butter and jelly sandwiches i have half of a chipotle burrito so two sandwiches half of a chipotle burrito i have um these little granola bars, two of them. I have two applesauces. I have some hot fries. 
which are kind of like coming out. I have um, USDA uh, organic stretch um, fruit, well, fruit little like fruit strip things. You guys should have seen this because I I haven't uploaded it yet. But there is a video where I show you guys a grocery haul, my my healthy food grocery haul. Another special K bar, um, some crackers. Um, and yeah, that's it. I typically try to bring a lot of food, especially on Tuesdays and Thursdays, since I have to dash to school right after this. But anyway, guys, yes, I just wanted to give you guys the skinny on what is going on. Oh, I also have my water. So what I've been doing in my water now is putting lemon. So good. I love lemon water. It makes me like water a lot more, and it makes me drink it a lot more because the lemon is just so good. Um... So yeah, I've been doing that a lot now, especially in the summer, like lemon water in the summer for some reason just tastes really, 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 really good. So yeah, I'm going to finish eating my food and watch some YouTube videos. If I didn't write play on curve, would you still love me? If I minimize my nail, would you still love me? Okay, running to my car. This is how my Tuesdays and Thursdays typically go. I leave the office and run to the car to get to school um it is 4 30 um class starts at 6 but you will soon realize that i'll probably get there like around 5 30 5 45 sometimes 6 you never know with la traffic so it's just smart to leave at this time so lately what i like to do is listen to podcasts um on my way home or on my way to school and on my way to work listen to music so i can like wake up and stuff so right now i'm going to find a really good podcast to listen to before i take off i have a bunch of like podcast recommendations because i feel like as a business student a lot of my classmates and stuff really like podcasts and they like all referred me or put me on to like a bunch of good ones so if I find something that I feel is super, super noteworthy to share with you guys, I will. Actually, yesterday I listened to the Side Hustle podcast. Have any of you guys heard of that? If so, comment below. Comment below anyway. How are y'all doing? What's good? Let me know what's up with y'all. Comment below. But um, I listened to that yesterday. found it extremely, extremely, extremely cool. Really, really liked it. But today, let's see what podcast I'm going to listen to. Guys, I just got to school a little while ago, maybe like 10 minutes ago or so. I'm actually running late, but I didn't have to be. I just had to make a Snapchat video, I mean, Insta story video um, before I forgot. So, yeah, but it's all good. I'm going into class now. After class, we go. So, the drive wasn't that bad. I actually ended up listening to Side Hustle Pro podcast. A really, really good one. I loved it. It was like a full hour. I got here like right at 5.30, so it took me like a full hour to get here. But, to be expected, now it's 6.01. So, I'm a bit late, which is really bad. Not, not really bad, but pretty unfortunate. But anyway, yeah, I'm at school, so I'm going to come talk to you guys later. Maybe like at my break or something. Guys, right, so I just got home. Drake's new album just came out so I'm about to huh huh girl I'm about to get it I'm just going to the vlog to me it's so annoying it extra anyhow Drake's new album just came out I'm so excited class was so boring but in a good way anyhow guys so yeah you guys know I overstuff my bag because I carry a lot of stuff because I don't like to not be prepared so my other bag broke for my what's in my bag video and um so I have to buy a new one I don't think I really showed you guys it fully, but here's what it looks like. Jimmy is taking everything out of her room that I put in there. Very, very, very interesting. But yeah, Jason's album just came out. Class was okay, I guess. It just seemed very, very long. And I don't know, I just couldn't really focus that well. It's international business, and I mean, I guess it's interesting if you make it interesting, but it's not something that I'm just like, Oh, I gotta get in that international business class. But it's actually mandatory for my trip to Germany that I'm taking next summer. We have to take an international business class so we can learn about all the tools to research different um, economies and research the best place to enter, like what market and blah, blah, blah. So I'm trying to make the best of it, but it was a long class. I'm gonna do better next time and try to just do like detailed notes before the class so I can like follow along and really participate and make a like a valid um, contribution. But anyhow, I don't know if I'll come back to the vlog after this. <laughs> Well, you get tired of blog a blogger around it. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Right. 
don't want to hear that. <laughs> Anyhow, um, but yeah, I'm about to start getting ready for tomorrow. I'm happy I was able to show you guys a day in the life of a vlog clerk. Um, obviously, I couldn't be around the office like, what's up? This is my homegirl, blow, blow. This is my homeboy, ho, ho. Like, I can't do that because it's like a very professional setting. But I hope that you guys were able to just get a little bit of insight. Um into like the dynamic or what it's like to be a law clerk i'll try to do more vlogs um similar to that as the summer goes on just showing you guys like a day in my life at work a day in my life at school blah 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 but anyhow tomorrow's friday i'm so hyped i'm about to get ready for tomorrow and i'm gonna just sign out now i will see you guys in the next vlog hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber hit the thumbs up it is free to do it all you need to do is have a youtube account or have a gmail i hope you have a gmail hit the like button leave me a comment show me some love you guys that kind of stuff matters sometimes i'll be like trying not to comment and not like and i just be like what happened what went wrong y'all better show me some love or i'm never gonna post again how about that you like that <laughs> just kidding just kidding but yeah thumbs up this video leave me a comment i'll see you guys in the next one also follow me on social media and i'll see you guys later bye <laughs>